Hi, my name is Paris Johnson. Welcome to Soulmates. Soulmates is all about the sneaker community. Yeah, so sneakers is more than just a shoe. It's actually an icebreaker. It's a way to get to know people. There's a lot of times where, you know, I mean, we could all be in our own world, just walking down the street, iPods in our, in our ears, just minding our own business. But once you see somebody with a shoe that reminds you of your childhood or an experience that you went through, you end up stopping and talking to that person and you can end up spending 30, 40, 50 minutes just having a conversation about sneakers and getting to know someone. And so sneaker brings people together and, and lets us know that we have a lot more in common than separates us. Well, soulmate, everybody's in search for their soulmate. You know what I'm saying? Whether you believe in God or you believe in something else, whether you believe in your spouse, you know, to, to who you run with. You know what I'm saying? People that you run with in business. I think everybody has some sort of soulmate. And so being in the sneakers, I felt, I felt that it was very, very important for me to take a spin on that. Some of the most popular brands that sell for us um, is like definitely Jordan 1s and Jordan 4s. Uh, that has always been um, a very, very popular sneaker. Um, Yeezys have been doing better than Jordan for quite some time now. Um, everybody wants Yeezys. Uh, I know that he's been speaking his mind a lot and people are like afraid of Yeezys, but that they're actually selling more. People want them more because they're like, oh, he's gonna get canceled. I need to hurry up and go buy them now before they go up. And so it's really actually, you know, it's really actually helped his business if they do decide to continue. Um, but Yeezys do very well. Um, and then collaborations. Collaborations like Travis Scott or Jay Balvin or Off-White uh, might merge with a company and do, come together to do a design or something like that. So that's always a very good one. I grew up around here, I care about the neighborhood. We do raffles, we, do, we, we give back to the community, we give back uh, to the area that we grew up in. Uh, and we're trying to make sure that the kids that are into sneakers understand that this is actually like business economics 101, right? You can understand what the retail price, uh, where, where to buy it at. And then once it sells out, you understand supply and demand. Why is the shoe going for more money? Because the supply was low, but the demand is really high. So that causes the prices to go up. And you can understand these things. You can understand the housing economics. You can understand um, the marketing on stocks. You can understand a lot of different things just by understanding sneakers. We do a shoe drive right now. And so we'll have the sneaker community come out and donate shoes and we'll give them a discount. And then we take those shoes and we give them to people in need. We give them to homeless people. We give them to you know, a, a wide variety. So we give shoes away for free. But if you're buying a shoe, I think maybe like, I think the cheapest shoe I could think of right now is like 75 bucks. And the most expensive shoe, um, well, it was 15 grand, but I sold it at SneakerCon. So right now at the moment, probably, probably like five, five, six thousand dollars. So it was a Kanye shoe. We got several off-whites here. Here's another couple off-whites. So what they'll do is they'll take a Jordan silhouette and then they'll color it, whether they do a classic colorway but change the shade a little bit and then they'll distress it, put different type of materials, put wording on it. We have a QR code system. So you just come scan it and it pull up the, uh, the listing on the website. Um, we really created that once COVID came and, and was in effect because once we started, we were non-essential. So we had to close for like six months or something like that. Um, but when we, once we opened back up and people were still afraid to shop, um, we created a system where they didn't have to come in and ask too many questions or, you know, people could have their mask on, people could feel, we just try to make it super safe and super friendly for other people to come in and be like, oh, scan it, cool. You know, <laughs> when somebody wants to buy a shoe, you hand it to them, they go get it and they ring you up, you know. You can buy online and just pick up and we'll bring it to you outside. So we just try to make ways for people to feel safe and still, you know, still support. The Central District is clearly been gentrified. I grew up in this area on 20th and Union, and you know, we've been lost those houses and, and had to move out south. And so for me coming back to the CD was, was one part of it, but I had opportunities to go on the landing, to go Bellevue Square, to go to different areas. And I'm a man of faith, so praying, you know, believing that I would find the right answer, and, and I believe God spoke to me and said, he, I'm gonna make the most impact with your life here because this is where you're from and this is where people know you most. We try to make sure that we want to expose other businesses to a platform that we have. So we'll, we'll usually once a month, we'll do a pop-up. We'll invite like a black-owned business out and have them come and sell their products in the store. 
and then we'll have a chef come out and set up shop like right in front so they can sell their plates, the, the owner can sell their merchandise here and just try to make sure that, you know, that people in the community have an opportunity that wasn't necessarily given to me or, or that isn't given to us. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, you guys definitely need to pull up. Um, we're located in the heart of Seattle, Capitol Hill area, 1422 Harvard Ave, Seattle, Washington, 98122. So on Instagram um, and Facebook, you can follow us, uh, Soulmates, S-O-L-E-M-A-T-E-S 206. And the website is sms206.com.